Beginner Makeup 101 with my friends. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Bobby, and I am so excited because today's video, I am inviting two of my friends. I work with them, and they had been asking me to help them figure out how to do makeup for more of a beginner. And so I said, yeah, I'll help you, but do you mind if I film it? <laughs> okay, here we go. So we are going to start talking about some skincare first. So I'm gonna start with Lorraine and tell us like your skin, like what kind of skin do you have? Um, dry, okay. uh, I would say it's normal to dry and it's sensitive, so yeah. Okay. Wait, I'm, how old are you? I'm uh, Do you mind 50. me asking? <laughs> I'm 50. Okay. <laughs> All right, and Kari, what is your skin like? My skin is dry and sometimes it's normal, like in the summertime yeah. it does, yeah, but it's starting to get drier and thinner and thinner oh yeah mm -hmm. not fun <laughs> yes <laughs> we all know that first thing we're going to do and they don't know i'm doing this i'm going to give them this to put on their face because we always do spf something so go ahead and rub that on make sure you're getting on your nose and your high spots and if you need more let me know mm. so this is a very cerave is very good i like this one because it plays well with makeup underneath like if it's underneath your makeup it plays well with it because some SPFs will actually pill up mm. and that is not attractive so even if your foundation has SPF in it you should always use an SPF under because think about it when you're putting foundation on you're taking it and it's thick here and then you're making it be thin every place else so that means your SPF is thinning out as you go so if you've got an SPF under, you don't have to worry about that. We're gonna start with foundation. I'm gonna use L'Oreal True, True Match, no. Yeah, it is True Match, nude. Um, I'm gonna shake it up. Um, Lorraine, what is your foundation? Ilia? Yeah, um, Ilia's a good brand. Yeah, so it's a super serum skin tint. Okay, so more mm. like a, uh, it'll be light mm -hmm. coverage. Okay, and Kari, what is yours? So I use a, is a foundation and BB cream different? Like BB cream means beauty balm, and okay. yes, it's usually less. It's not as much coverage. It's almost like a skin tint. That would be the least. Okay. And then a beauty balm will definitely be more like a tinted moisturizer kind of thing. But this one that you're gonna show, the Misha, that's one I like, yeah. I've used a lot, and it actually has pretty good coverage for a BB cream. A lot of BB okay. creams will give you very light coverage. So yeah. that's good. I like this one yeah. for the coverage. And I use two different ones, number 27 and 23, because I like to mix yeah. the color. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, first off, do you, you have a foundation brush? Do you have a foundation brush? Is that what that is? No, that's not a foundation <laughs> brush. I'm gonna give you. This is not a foundation brush. Is oh, it? it looks like I it. use it for my cheeks when I. Oh. Yeah. Um, it is a foundation brush, but um, I'm going to have you guys use this. Yeah. Both are clean. I've oh. actually never used this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to have okay. you use that, and I've that's never, clean. Never used it. I've never used so brush. those are foundation brushes. Ooh. I'm going to use the same one you have. Okay. Yeah. Fingers are fine, okay. especially <laughs> for a tinted moisturizer. Okay. But I want you to see the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to take your foundation and go ahead, and I'm going to, I don't have my, you guys are using my palettes. <laughs> So I'm going to actually put mine on the back of my hand. Okay. That makes it easier. Okay, so you're going to take your foundation and just dip it a little bit, like three little dots, and avoid your forehead for now. Okay. Okay, and you guys can use the back of your hands or your palettes. It doesn't matter. And that's why you have washcloths here. Dip it three dots on one side. Yeah, or both sides. It okay. doesn't matter. I put some on my nose and things like that. All right, and you're going to take your brush first and here's the tip with a brush. You take it and don't do it yet. Just kind of take it and dab it around like that. So don't, don't smush it around. Go up and put a little bit up and get under the crevices and then go ahead and swipe it and only do one side of your mouth, your face. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Take it down your neck and don't be afraid to smush it in like, and then you can buff it as well. What's your question? Yeah, do you um, do you put it on your eye, like up on your eyebrows at all? No. No, okay. I do not. Mm -hmm. okay. But some people do. Okay. I just choose, Rachel's saying, okay. Rachel is helping us film and hey she's, guys. <laughs> 
she's behind us. Okay, so once you feel that that is completely rubbed in, oh. hmm. how are you doing? <gasps> oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Let me see. I think good. Yeah, yes. Looks good. Okay. Take it down on your neck a little more. Okay. And you're going to take your sponges. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I gave them each um, a beauty sponge. So they're using the Paw Paw. I think actually mine is a Beaky. But they're using the Paw Paw one from Shop Missé. You can also get them on Amazon. And everything I'm talking to you guys about and anything they've brought, I will link below so you guys can see it. So now the key to this is it always needs to be moist. Mm -hmm. So rinse it out, squeeze it out a lot, and then I take it between a, a towel and squeeze. You don't have to do it. Rachel did it. Mm -hmm. But um, so here's the key to this. Same thing. Take it and just distribute, and you're just going to, like, pounce it. Mm. This is like a marshmallow. Yes. It's <laughs> very soft. Oh, it's very soothing. Yeah. I love a sponge. Yeah. Now, how I usually do my makeup is I will take the brush and do it all over and then I finish it off with a sponge. Mm, it feels so good. And if you feel like you need more somewhere, go ahead and use a little bit more. Do, and you, do you put it on with your finger and yep, then? Yeah, okay. I do, but some people don't. It really, everyone's so different. I choose to never put it on the actual okay. thing, but that's just me. So here's the thing, if you're using a sponge, a sponge will soak up more of the product so therefore it will give you a less heavy look mm -hmm. so it's easier especially <clears throat> for people who have rosacea mm -hmm. because people who have rosacea don't like to have their face rubbed too much so a brush sometimes can exacerbate rosacea um, so then the sponge is better so sometimes i will take if i have like here i have hyperpigmentation right mm -hmm. there so i always take another layer and put it right there and then I have redness because I have rosacea, I do that. What I will do is I'll take my brush again and very lightly just distribute it again in the areas that I want to cover. Mm -hmm. And then I do the same thing with my sponge if I was using that, just <clears throat> real lightly. Mm -hmm. But I always, for me personally, I always finish everything off with a sponge. Mm -hmm. And don't forget your if you can turn your sponge around and use the point, mm -hmm. get that between your oh. nose and under your eyes and what I do is I squeeze the sponge so I have a higher point and I use that to go under my eye and you don't want to rub like pull your skin you want to dab it always dab when you're using a sponge mm -hmm. I mean sometimes I'll take it and do like brush it down my neck like that that's fine but I would never do that on my face what you're probably going to do is just rub off the makeup mm -hmm. you just put on so all right, so then you want to take your 10 times zoom mirror, which they had never, <laughs> you should have seen them when they got there. They were like, we don't have 10 times zoom mirrors. I'm like, okay, it's fine. So they're looking, they're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so take your 10 times zoom mirror and just bring it up close. And just what you want to do is make sure you're not seeing any areas that look heavy or that just doesn't look good. I would have put a tiny bit more here you've got some redness okay and I would probably use the brush okay. to do that mm -hmm. so that you can cover that up a little bit I okay. think if I think day-to-day -day kind of stuff you would be fine to use the Ilia if you wanted to do something where you wanted to be a little bit more um, covered coverage. you would get a little bit more of a coverage kind of okay foundation and she probably has i don't know if Ilya is a woman but it sounds womanish mm -hmm. i may try um, kari's uh misha yeah misha's yeah. a good brand I really very like good you can get it on amazon okay mm -hmm. the key to having a good concealer is having one that will not have you look cakey in the end that won't crease although i will tell you all concealers will crease at some point because we all because of our age we have wrinkles there it just happens so what you want is to get the consistency that will do that less the color should be a couple shades lighter under your eyes or even just one shade lighter you don't want to look like you've got whiteness constantly not mm -hmm. at our age mm -hmm. and then if you're concealing something on your face you want to have a concealer that's almost the same color as your foundation or your skin color mm -hmm. because or or even just a little bit darker because um 
if you did light, it would shine light on that. You don't want to use the same concealer from under your eye to all over your face. Mm. That would be bad. A dot, a dot, and do like three little dots. That's all I do. So okay. go ahead and do that. Hmm. Okay. If you think, do you think that's too dark for you? Oh no, I think you're no, okay. Okay. Okay, if you're gonna use your finger, try to use your ring finger so it's the least mm. amount and just kind of dab it and not go right under the lashes. Kind of stay more at the bottom of where your, um, the poofiness starts. You may want to go a little bit closer to your lashes. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use a brush on my left one. And I don't use a lot of concealer because it's just so stinking hard to keep it from creasing. But it is what it is. Can I use this brush? Absolutely. Yeah. You almost can use any brush. Well, I mean, I wouldn't use your foundation brush to do your concealer, but a lot of brushes are named one thing and I use them for other stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever put it on this way before and it looks great oh like, good yes it's, it's like, so much better with yeah, your finger i yeah. think it's like usually cakey or like why did i put yeah. this on well it could also be that um concealer i'm going to show them what yeah. you have she has from oh, I guess is it maybelline glasses okay brightening creamy concealer and she has a problem with it looking cakey. And I think mm -hmm. it's because of just the nature of this. It's a very, if it's in a stick, it has yeah. to be a certain dryness to keep it in a stick. So not usually a good solution for mature eyes. Okay, so what you're gonna do after that is, I gave you guys each a little poof. Ooh. Okay. These are from oh, Amazon. Cute. I actually cut off for myself the little, because oh. I don't care about it. Okay. But you can use both sides. <laughs> It's, this is number seven, Lift and Luminate. This is a good under eye. Now you can use an under eye concealer two ways. You can take a fluffy brush. If you're gonna use a concealer, if you're, gonna, if you're going to use a pressed powder under your eyes, it needs to be a fluffy brush. You don't wanna use a dense brush because it will pick up way too much powder. Mm -hmm. You wanna have a very light, film under your eyes to set it. You want to use as much as you need and no more. Okay. Because the more powder you put on your face, the drier you're going to look. So if you can get away with not using it, don't. Mm -hmm. But usually concealers need it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your poof and use the, the pointy side. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I just take my finger and kind of move it around and then I just hold my hand a little bit like that and then press in mm. until it's set and you shouldn't really see it mm -hmm. it's just gonna kind of be there mm -hmm. so again you just take it make sure all your creases are out because you certainly don't want to set the creases in mm. so always right before pull it and move it this way okay <laughs> I have too many creases <laughs> <laughs> well, we all have creases. You should use oh, your I poof. Should use, use my poof. <laughs> use your poof. It's probably called a velour, actually. So they have different shades of this. And this is my favorite. This is a drugstore. In fact, almost all the things I'm showing you guys are drugstore. Um, not expensive makeup. Mm -hmm. And this is my favorite for under my eyes. So. Mm. I feel like okay, I this. when I do this, I feel like I still have wrinkles. Well, you're going to have wrinkles. Oh, okay. Sadly, it doesn't take those away. <laughs> what? That's what I came here for. <laughs> Sorry, you will not look 10 years younger. You will look a better you. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is do brows. And I know yes. Lorraine is excited about brows. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what to do about brows. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm using the next professional precision one. And that's what Lorraine's going to use. And Kari's going to use Charlotte Tilbury. And I figured you guys would both be safe to use one I have because you both have dark hair. Yes. <laughs> so I figured you kind of want your eyebrows, well, you do want your eyebrows to match what your natural hair is, mm -hmm. which if you color your hair, it will be what's closest to your hairline. Even So I'm usually a dark brown. Mm -hmm. So, okay, brows. This is <laughs> going to be hard to show you guys, but so what I want you to do is to take your 
brush your spoolie. This is called a spoolie on this end. And you're gonna actually first get them brushed how they would normally, like just brush them up. Okay. Now, do you guys pluck your eyebrows? Yes. Well, I get mine waxed, but okay. I um trying to grow them a little bit. Okay. Because they are not as thick as I would like them. All right. Are you using a brow gel? Uh, of course not. Okay. That's okay. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to. I would love to. I just don't know <laughs> which one to get. So, Rachie, which one should she get? Grande lash. A <laughs> grande, grande brow. brow. Yeah. Grande. Except That's your bank she... account will be upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> so true they are expensive it really is expensive but yeah. it works it does work okay okay then you're going to take your spoolie and you're going to actually brush all down and what you do what you're doing is you're creating the top line you want to see where your top line is hmm. i've never done this before i, I know this is all this is, this is all new <laughs> okay so i want you to look at your brow and see where your heart your heart where your hair starts you want to take your whatever you're using gel whatever it is you, you guys have pencils and you're going to try to match this part to the top the highest point oh. of your brows and you're going to do very like this like little lines like that and do it very soft okay so you're not doing a hard like never do this make a big line. line never take a line that will make it look like you're a crazy woman. <laughs> or like do. an old lady rachel i wasn't using those words <laughs> so okay. you're gonna take it do you guys want to watch me yeah, yeah. Watch first. okay so i'm I'm gonna sure. show her first yes. okay so take it and then just so see how I'm reaching yeah, yeah, yeah. and I can take it whenever you get a little heavy turn it over yeah. and use your spoolie your spoolie is your eraser okay. mm -hmm. so or your softener mm -hmm. but take it and then bring it down to match your tip mm -hmm. if your tips are short you can go beyond the tip mine are very short so then you take it and then you're going to start filling in. Then take it and brush your hair up to see what it's looking like. And if I have anything heavy, and you just kind of fill it in like that. So we're going to wow. do that first. Okay, I have right. never done that you. ever. This is going to be <laughs> world changing. And you're doing sideways on the one you're using. Yours is very fine tipped. Yeah. So you can just do the same thing. Sideways like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the mm -hmm. Y, the so you're going horizontal okay. with it. Okay, you have a you've got a very hard line. Yes, I so do. you need to soften it up drastically. Okay. Yeah, soften it all up. Oh, that blends well. Yeah, I love. I this. haven't used that eyebrow pencil before. See how much better it's looking oh, already. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. go a little bit lighter. Okay. With your other eye, you don't have to press as hard as you're pressing. I feel like that was too dark over there. Okay. Well, remember, it's all going to look crazy in the beginning. You get your mascara on and everything else if you have only your brows done you look like a crazy person because right. it's just so much heavier especially if you're not used to seeing your eyebrows done that way the first time i did i went oh my word i'm crazy i have a lot less eyebrows on this side than i do on yeah that often happens do you sleep on that side more probably yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure I do. yeah now our brush our hair is brushed up you're going to go under and all you're going to do is under is fill in the sparse parts and then work it into the middle part mm, okay. and here's the thing about brows your brow should be darker as they go out hmm. instead of dark really here I mean you can be darker but most natural brows are thinner right here and work up to a darker because you have more hair as you go out hmm. take it and I literally start down here okay and I work my way up and blend it in and just make sure it's all blended and I'm going even lighter than I normally do it's okay. just so and then I'm gonna come out here just so you can see it now I'm gonna start here because that's where my hair starts mm -hmm. and work my way up 
go sideways and it's going to look crazy at first but remember my spoolie is my eraser mm -hmm. so if it goes a little bit crazy or awry i can use my finger and turn it over and then just keep softening it up and then it's always good <laughs> to look farther away and go, okay, how's that looking? So right here I can see emptiness. Yeah. Because what you see far away isn't necessarily what you're seeing up close and vice versa. I've never spent that much time on my eyebrows. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, remember, I'm talking you through this. Doesn't This doesn't take me that long. But usually right, right, it but... takes me like four or five minutes. Yeah. That's it so takes great. a while. They okay. look amazing. And then you go and you look... Out. And I always go up Just and kind of look and go, okay, mm -hmm. do they match? <laughs> right, right. Okay. My viewers know a lot of times they don't. Oh, wow. They look so dark to me. <laughs> Let me look. Let me see. Oh, no. No? Oh, I'm no. not used to having I know you're dark. not, but oh, those do wow. not look bad at all. Right, Rach? Those don't look bad on her. No. Okay. It matches your hair. Okay. Yeah. Right. And it's showing your face much more. Should I try to even them up because you know like they're so different you should always try to even them up okay. yes right. and but don't but be as light as you are is good okay. but make sure your lightness is kind of more even okay I'm, oh there's now another delivery <laughs> That is so funny. Guess what he's delivering? Guess what he just delivered? The Dyson. <gasps> the, the Dyson, Dyson curler. Rachel, oh, we had three hundred dollars in oh Ulta Point. I, we so are so it. excited I cannot to try wait to this see thing. your hair. Oh. Excited. Oh, I heard it takes a little bit to get used yes. to, though. <laughs> so yeah, I knew it was coming today. That like, is yes. so when amazing. When I saw Ulta on the side, I was like, oh, that's, that's it. Nice. <laughs> That's why I'm like the thing. I like, would not have bought it if we didn't have all those points. No. Like, mm -hmm. there's no way I, I'm not spending that much on a machine. <laughs> I think you look good. Okay. I think you need a little bit more on your top right there. On the top up here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let me see. What do you think? Oh, you're looking good. It's good. Yep. I would brush. This one's a little darker. Okay. So brush, brush it. through it a little bit more. Yeah. No, it's looking good. Now, how, do you go this dark ever? Any, like when you're at home by yourself? No. <laughs> okay. I don't. Really. It's really not dark though. It's I don't not. look at, no, because it looks like you've got hair. Okay. So that's the good news. Let's oh, see. I'm so excited you got Oh, oh it's so funny because yeah. I'm looking, you look beautiful. And I was, <laughs> we're both going, ooh. Mm -hmm. When I finally learned how to do my eyebrows, <clears throat> that was a game changer. Huh. That was like, oh, okay, I can actually see my yeah. eyes now because I have, you have very pretty blue, big, big eyes. Mm -hmm. And even when you smile, you still have mm -hmm. them. When I smile, my eyes go almost, almost like yeah. they are almost non-existent. You've got tiny eyes, but not even tiny as mine. And, you know, I remember like when my daughter got married a few years mm -hmm. ago and some of the people had, some of the women had their eyes professionally done right. I didn't and I look at the wedding pictures and I'm like I can't see my eyes and these other women look beautiful and you know their eyes are popping and what well, yeah. and yeah. you are you just see your hair it's yes. just your features yeah. are popping yeah. that's what to eyes. me that's what makeup should do makeup should bring out your natural features that's mm -hmm. where and I think that people will look at somebody all done up and sometimes the natural features are actually hidden behind all their makeup yeah. so if you've done it right it's fine that someone goes oh your makeup's beautiful it's not like you don't want to ever think you've got makeup on but it's bringing out your beauty mm -hmm. it's your natural beauty should just shine through so mm. okay I'm off my little thing <laughs> this is something I would encourage you to get this is from elf very cheap this is their wow brow mm -hmm. what this is is basically mascara kind of for your brows you do it real soft this is really good if you have gray eyebrows mm -hmm. at all if something's or you're blonde it'll make your because we all have blonde hair all hidden in there and mm -hmm. this will grab a hold of that and make your eyes brows look fuller because you've grabbed a hold of all those little blonde hairs or gray i have some gray ones in there mm -hmm. so i that is one of my finishing touches that i love another game changer to me for a beginner very easy makeup is to make sure your eye here is all one color mm -hmm. so if you look at my eyes 
there's many, many colors mm -hmm. all throughout that. And that is something that happens as you age because your skin is getting thinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you, you don't necessarily have to do eyeshadow, but you do want it to be all one color. So there's some ways to do that. I'm gonna give you each a little bit of dab of this. This is called Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. Just a tiny dab like that. Put it between your fingers and get it rubbed out. And then you're just gonna go on your eyelid from underneath your brow to your lash line and just rub it in. What this is gonna do is first off, if you have greasy lids at all, it will make them not be greasy anymore. So anything you put on them won't crease. And just rub it in very little. It should be clear. It'll look like you have nothing on at the end. And it's going on the lid? Or just on the eyebrow? No, uh, underneath the eyebrow all the way to the lash line. All the way to the lash yep. line, okay. Okay, well now what we're going to do is just, we're going to color from basically exactly where you just put the primer, we're going to color over our eyelids. And this is just to make it all be one color. Now you can use a concealer, I've mm -hmm. done that many times, but I have found a couple things recently that I think work well. One of them is this is from Ulta Beauty. This is technically an eyeshadow, and you're just going to put it all over your lid so that you've got all one color, and it should not be, this step here should not have any shine to it. It shouldn't have glitter, it shouldn't have a shimmer, it should be a matte color. Mm -hmm. But see the difference between that one to that one? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just so... Oh yeah. And then so your eye doesn't look like it looks younger yeah. because of it. Mm -hmm. When I put it on my lid, I literally dab it and that's it. Okay. And remember underneath your brow to your lash line and just dab it all over your eye until it all looks even. And this is one of those, to me, another game changer mm -hmm. because then it just looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's see on you. Oh yeah, that looks like pretty it. on you. It's very pretty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that mm -hmm. looks good. You've got such distinct brow bone yeah. like here. Oh That's my goodness, good. I know. <laughs> oh. I'm definitely a, so my eyes, too, so, yes. Her eyebrows arch up so much. So there's so much space for eyeshadow. I know, too. oh my I goodness. Mom, you're the only one lacking. <laughs> I am very much lacking. I've got the hooded eyes. You guys don't even have well, hooded I eyes. I have kind of hooded eyes. A little bit. Yeah. You Especially must have had side. really big space when you were younger. It must have Probably, really, yeah. yeah. Probably, we don't even remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Good. Oh, so pretty. I love that look on me. Like yes, that. that looks it good. It looks like eyeshadow. Yes. Yeah. Can I see? Oh, Ooh. yes. I like it. I like it too. Yeah. You're 10 years younger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Achieved. Achieved. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're going to come home and you're also going to be like, oh, who are you? <laughs> what I would do is just set this with either a setting powder, like the same one I used underneath my eyes, or a same color as my almost my skin like just make sure it is does not have any kind of sheen to mm. it it's not supposed to really show up this is just, just literally setting it and i can use this or you could use oh. mm -hmm. your brush it does not matter just try not to get it on your eyebrows and all that's doing is setting that and then you're done some tips with curling you don't curl your lashes no i've never used this <gasps> Whoa. Oh, this is going to be fun. They're always scary looking. <laughs> they are. They okay. are. You curl yours. So. Yes. Okay. okay. The key mm -hmm. to curling lashes is to not make it look like it's a fold, to make it look like a scoop. Oh. That is the key. Okay. So the way to do that is to take your lash, put them in there, and go as close to your eye lid as you can see, without pinching it. I always give it a little bit of a thing just to see if do I have any skin in there. Give it a harder, firm, but not like squeeze hard. A little bit, and then what you're gonna do is release it, take it out a little bit, another little squeeze, take it out a little bit, squeeze a little bit, and then you're just gonna keep going until you get to your tip. I had no idea. I and then you go way. back to the lash line and give it a nice firm. Okay. And then I always oh just gosh. kind of... Oh, wow. Wow. And then you've got a curve. <gasps> Wow, I've never done it that way. Let's see this. All right. They're this good for amazing. your ego. They make you feel like you've just created uh, magic. <laughs> I 
How are you doing, Lorraine? I don't know. Did lose some lashes. Yeah, yes, you did. I did? Yep. Okay. Try again. Let's it see. does take some practice. It definitely takes practice if you've never done it. Oh, I see it in there. You're okay. doing good. Yep. And squeeze a little harder until you feel it. And then release. And then go down a little bit more. Yep. You're doing great. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Wow. They are curling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When I do it, I look down. Instead of doing it like this, what happens is it's very easy, especially if you have hooded eyes, to have this thing hit your mm. hit you. Almost like you're not seeing it and you're going to wiggle a little bit and go up wiggle a little bit and go up. And then what I do is I will hit the tips of them really lightly. Mm -hmm. And then I just do it again and do a nice thin coat for the first one. And then you can go back if you want and do a second coat. You might want to take your mirror and look down. I personally do not put them on my bottom lashes. I don't either. So Lorraine, you normally don't wear mascara? Not a lot. Okay. Not often, but I like it. Let me see. Oh, you've got beautiful so, eyes. You definitely should wear mascara. Okay. Because it brings them out more. Good. I don't know if do you get inside too, like if you've got them there. Sure. Good. Okay. Yep. How you doing? Good. 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 Okay. And then oh, I'll sneeze. Doing so good. No. <laughs> no, 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 no <laughs> sneezing. <laughs> They'll dry down, and then you'll be fine. Here's the thing with blush. I want you to think about instead of going like this, like some people will do that mm -hmm. and do it here, but what happens is then you stop and your face just went down. Mm. So now your blush is lower than what you thought it was. Oh. Mm. So keep your face normal and kind of look and be kind of above your brow, um, your cheekbone. Mm -hmm. You, as we get older, obviously everything sags. So we mm. want things to go up. So you're going to actually have it go probably step more like here and go up to your temple. Not okay. real strong. You can always build. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and am I going to use the top one? Yes, yeah. the top one. And I'm going to use this one, but I'm going to put it on my hand first because this one's a newer one to me. Oh, I feel like that one are really strong. Oh, no. Not strong at all. Looks good. In the future, if you get really heavy handed with blush, you can think of your sponge as an eraser. Mm. Oh. So you can just take it and dab it, especially if you used it for your foundation. Mm -hmm. And it can take away some of the harshness if you get a little crazy with it. So my choice, my favorite kind of blush is a cream blush. Okay. I would much rather do that. But if I'm in a really big hurry and I just want to go, ch -ch -ch, I will use a powder mm -hmm. one. So contouring or a bronzer. It gives you a cheekbone where you might not have a cheekbone. Mm -hmm. And this is a fluffy brush. That's important. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have a really um, dense one like my foundation one because mm -hmm. I want it to be light. And I'm going to take it and just go right underneath, real light. And it gives me the illusion Now I might take this brush and just kind of dab it out a little bit with my foundation that I was using. But see how if I look straight ahead, you're kind mm. of seeing a, a bone that wasn't yeah. there. <laughs> I will also take it. And I go under here because I have skin here. Mm -hmm. And if the light hits that, like right now the light is hitting that, it looks more. But if I take this, mm -hmm. it makes it kind mm -hmm. of recede. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want. I don't want to have my light makes things come forward. So mm -hmm. if you want to hide something, don't light it, light it up. Hide it with darker. Mm -hmm. So that's what that does. Now if I'm looking a little like um, whiter up here yeah, or something, I might use... Here. I'll go along here and then just buff it in and it just gives it look like, makes it look like I've got a little bit of sun kiss mm -hmm. and that's always nice. Ooh, yeah. pretty. Yes. Ooh. Rach, look at, she's got good cheekbones. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks really nice. That looks really nice. And then just, okay, yep. And take up. that all the way to your hairline so it doesn't look like it stops. Yeah. You don't want to have any harsh lines. 
Oh, that's good, Carrie. Been working. Yep, it mm -hmm. looks good. Very pretty. I like this. I like it. That's a very inexpensive contour palette. I like that it's simple. It's yes. just two colors. Yeah. <laughs> we like simple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm very excited about my eyes. I, I need to write everything down. Uh -huh. It's great. It, your eyes look so good. But it's just I just so I don't much spend more. the time. It's but like it, I've met my eyebrows for the first time. <laughs> It's all coming back. <laughs> Welcome, eyebrows. I'm so glad you came. <laughs> okay, let's do lips. The key to having awesome lips is first off doing a lip liner that is almost the same color as your lips. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a shade darker. And the reason why you want that is you're going to put over that a lipstick. That's going to wear off first. Your lipstick's going to wear off first. If you have a very vibrant lip liner, that's going to come out and then your lips are going to be coming out and you're going to look crazy because they don't match. Mm -hmm. So if, if I will do my entire lip when I do it so that as it's wearing off, that's sh showing through and I don't have that line, that 1990s mm -hmm. right. line around our lips. Right, yeah, right. that. <laughs> I, I do my outside first and then fill it all the way in. I don't think I've seen that lip liner before. It's new. Uh -huh. I'm going to wrap with that. How far into the crease do you go? What do you, you know, mean the crease? Like here and here. You don't want to go all the way around because okay. that can make you look like um, older. Okay. So I have mine go up to it and then I go in. Actually using this 10 times mirror, I'm realizing that what I'm using doesn't go on very smoothly. It's like mm. breaking up. Yep. I and you do it. want a smooth one. And then you fill it in with lipstick. Too. You're going to fill in your entire lip with that liner. Oh. Well, you've got lipstick, right. so yes, you could okay. just fill it in the whole way. Yeah, my lips are a little dry, so it's like not working yeah. so well. Yeah. If it doesn't, if it skips around, mm -hmm. you probably should get a different one. Oh, okay. that's a pretty color. That's why I buy this one because I like the What's color. the brand? It's Elf. No, it's not Elf. It's Wet n Wild. That's okay. my favorite color, and I mm -hmm. just have to find it in another brand, maybe. Oh, that color's pretty obvious. It's just my lips are dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine are too. I okay. usually, before I start, um, put some, like when I start putting my makeup on, I will put lip stuffing on my lips to get them mm. nice and moist. Okay. And then by the time I'm ready to do it, I'll take that off and put lipstick on. And I and always make whatnot. sure to put mm -hmm. chapstick on before I go to bed. Oh, that yes. helps. Oh, wow. yeah. So much. Okay. Wow. Aww, you look great. Both of you look great. I'm so look. excited. Wow. I love it. I love it. You that. guys look great. Beautiful. I love your hair. Yeah. Too. Thank hair you. It's so pretty. Thank all right, you guys. Bobby. Now you can go forth and be beautiful all the time. <laughs> Why, thank you. You are beautiful, anyways. All right. Okay, and then just do different things. Move your. <laughs> my thumbnails uh, is I literally take a video and then I just use my favorite ones. That's so funny. I've never done this <laughs> I've before. never done that. <laughs> All right, you're good. <laughs> if you want to see another video where you feel like we're, I'm chatting more with you, I am going to link one of my latest videos where I talk about the future of my channel and just some fun things about health and things that's going on in my life. I'm going to link that one right here. I will see you maybe in that one or a future one. God bless.